So welcome to your fifth Java program tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use if statements and I've called it decisions because I was having a problem calling it if statements for some reason but I'm leaving it as decision. Now in the previous tutorial I said we were going to be doing a pass or fail application. Now uh, when I did that tutorial I forgot that we haven't actually I haven't taught if statements. Um, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be teaching if statements, but I'm going to be demonstrating it in the form of a pass or fail application. So what I mean by this pass or fail application is basically when you do a test and you get a percentage for it. So if you do like an exam or something, you get a percentage for it. And you let's say you have to get more than 75 or more to fight to pass. So obviously that's your percentage, 75% or more to pass. So in this application, you put your um, you put your percentage in, and it will tell you whether you pass or fail. It's kind of pointless since anyone could tell whether a number is above above seventy five or not, but might as well. So first, we have um, a few variables to declare. So we're going to do int, and then uh, score. Actually, I'm going to do that in all lowercase. Int score. So that's going to hold their score, and then we're going to do score equals. So let's say they got 88 in their exam, 88 percent. So that's their score. So now we want to determine whether that is above 75, well 75 or above, or lower than 75. So 74 or lower. Now normally in, a, in an exam it would probably be a decimal, but since I haven't got onto decimals and variables yet. We're just leaving it as a whole number. So now we need to determine whether this is above or below 75. So to do this, we do if, all in lowercase, and then we do brackets, and then we do curly brackets, and then we do close it off. So in these normal brackets here, we put the question. So the question here is going to be if score. Um, is less than um, is less than se is less than 75 75 sorry so if score is less than 75 then it's going to do what's in here and then we can do else and then it will do what's in here so this else basically means otherwise so if it's not this then it has to be this it can either be 75 or above or below it can't be anything else so if it's not this, it has to be this then. So here what we're going to do, why is my cursor flashing? Oh, I don't know. So here we're going to do system dot out dot print ln for print line, and then brackets and a semicolon. And then here we're just going to put, uh, since that's less than 75, we're just going to do fail in big capital letters with an exclamation mark at the end. So just copy that, just to make things easier. Put a tab in, make this pass. So you got fail or pass. So that's pretty much it. So just save that. And let me open command line. So we do cd backslash. I figured out you can actually also do cd uh, forward slash. But I prefer using backslash. So then we're going to do cd java underscore files and then java c decision that's capital D I can never spell this decisions dot java and there we go that's compiled and then we do java decision decisions there pass so this person passed which is nice and I'm not going to change this but if we would actually I will demonstrate this let's say we get something really low like 12 so they fell asleep in the exam or something so that's 12 percent so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go and delete let me go into well, what we're we doing mm java underscore files I'm just going to go and delete this decision decisions.class can't say it 
just so that it doesn't come into conflict. So we do Java, Java C, decisions. Yep, that's right. Dot Java. That's compiled, and then we do Java decisions, and then they failed, obviously. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.